Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grayscale, and welcome to Day of the Tentacle. In the last episode, the purple tentacle was taking over the world. That's about it. And this guy burps. He's trying... Oh, oh, there's... Okay. Um, I did not see him here. Okay. Constitution in progress. Okay, take the log. Let's take the log. Sorry, I'm saving it. It's going to be a famous log. A famous log. I don't want to know what that's going to be. Talk to George Washington. Excuse me. George Washington. Yes? George Washington. What are you looking at out there? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's, my Hoagie. name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Education president? Um... Uh... Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful prowess. I bet you've lost it. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand. <laughs> Cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. 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 Let's give the letter to George I'm Washington. not going to give that to the father of our country. Okay. Okay, um... I don't wanna. You know, that might be... I'm, you know, I'm gonna try and put the letter in the suggestion box. I don't wanna. Okay, you don't wanna do anything. Can opener. What would a can opener be used for? So there's stuff over here. Gold-plated quill pen. Let's take that. Hey, keep your hands off that! So I can use the pen. Let's probably try. Hey, keep your hands off that! Hey, keep your hands off that! Okay, try using that with. A window. Hey, keep your hands off that! Cool view of the outhouses. He looks oddly familiar. So I can't take the log. It looks like a martini shaker. Don't touch that, it's government property. Okay, so that's not working. I can't get through the swinging door. Oh, I can get through the swinging door. Okay. Spaghetti. Let's take that spaghetti and some oil. And then water pump. Let's push the water pump. I don't wanna. Okay, fine, let's use the water pump. Okay. Swinging door pantry. Let's close the pantry. I don't wanna. I can't open it. Okay, so go through the door. Open the door, go through the door. Oh, bucket. Take the bucket. Because then I can fill the bucket up with water. And I don't know what to do with that. Just taking everything that I can. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. That's how you play these games. You play it like a hoarder. It's just like, hey, look, a random piece of... Uh, there's some scissors on the floor. Let's take those. A uh, piece of string that's needed later in the game. That's the, that's the fun thing about these. You just have to take everything. Okay, so now I have new items. Uh, let's see what I can do. I got a brush, I got a bucket. Let's try and go and fill that bucket up with water. Use the bucket with that. Yeah! I 
It did a thing. Got a bucket with water in it. Maybe I can make some spaghetti. I don't wanna. Okay. Oh, but there's a fire, so... Am I supposed to cook spaghetti? Am I seriously supposed to cook spaghetti? Maybe I'm supposed to burn the spaghetti. Okay. Oil, letter, can opener. I don't wanna. Nothing to clean in here. I don't wanna. Oh, that's for cleaning something. Right, let's just go back up the fireplace because I got new items. Oh, just go through the window. Again, I didn't think about doing this in the last yeah, episode. It's a cat. Just take the cat. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna take the cat. Yo, I... Okay. Red paint. Take the red paint. Jed's bed, Ned's bed. Okay, let's push his bed out of the way. Where am I gonna put it? I don't know. Anywhere. Very Spartan. Very Spartan. Use the bed and then try and take the spooky toy. Yo, I. Okay, so I need to. I bet I can scare someone with the mouse. Where am I gonna put it? Use squeaky with mattress. No. Use Ned's bed and then pick up the cat toy. Okay, it's not that Yo, simple. I've... So it's not as simple as just taking this. Open the trap door first. Okay. Drop water on the cat. I don't wanna. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? So I gotta use the squeaky mattress. It's like, yeah. Use the squeaky mattress. Okay. Use the squeaky mattress. And then take the cat toy. Yo, I. Okay, so uh, I need to find something to grab that cat toy. And there's a horse in a house. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. It's a talking uh, horse. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? And now it's a horse that lives in a house. It's not that he's just here. He lives in it. I'm not even going to question it. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. Hmm. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Talking horse. It's... It, it's a talking horse. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's oh, Ned who? And Jed Edison. Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. 
Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. <laughs> I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? I wonder what he's gonna unload. Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's, it's the extra this large stuff. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. Oh, what kind of people? What kind of people? Big, dumb people. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> this guy takes forever to answer. I'm sure that's terribly amusing. Where you're from? Where exactly did you come from? Um... I live off campus with Bernard and Laverne. How nice for you. How nice for Bernard. How nice for Laverne. How nice for everybody. Well, actually, they never let me play my music very loud. Yes, of course. Well, goodbye. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. So here are the guys, late. these are the guys that own the bed upstairs. So this is Ned and that's Jed. Uh... It's Ned or Jed's head. I don't want it. These dudes might get mad. I wonder if there's anything to eat in it. Push him. I think he'd bop me with the hammer. Alright. Meanwhile, 400 years later. Yeah, see, 400 years, that's exactly the same Get time. Get me down from here! That's the exact same time as the time capsule will be opened. 400 years. So... If I do that... Door, door. Distingu distinguished a gen... It's Max. Distinguished a gentleman. These look better on velvet. Okay, and this room has kite plans. Calendar, wine. There's some wine. Get the wine. Uh, there's a mirror and Ben's bed. Maybe I can hey, break the mirror. What's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. I don't understand that technical stuff. I don't quite see how it can fly. I'd only mess it up. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. So, kite plans. Uh, it doesn't... There was wine, but I think I'm gonna need to come back for that, though. The kite plans. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Could it have a chrome-plated bald, e bald eagle robot on it? How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? We should have a hologram on it somewhere. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, 
What the heck? At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Gosh, I never want to mess with history. I don't wanna. Wait, he doesn't want to mess with history, but he just suggested a bikini-clad woman swinging a broad axe for the American flag. I couldn't sleep in here with all the racket. Who asked you to? American flag prototype, American flag prototypes. That'd make a killer t-shirt. That would make a t-shirt. I, like I think these. there are t-shirts like Too that. Too late. You've already rejected those. Open this door. George, this is George Washington's room. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Where's Mr. Washington? Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington? My name's not Washington, it's Hoagie. <laughs> That's funny, Mr. Washington. Imagine being named after a sandwich. No, really, I'm not Washington. You're George Washington, occupation founding father. It says so in the register. You're right, I am Washington. I knew it. Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. Do you know where I could find Red Edison? He's probably in the basement workshop again. He's always tankering with some invention instead of running the inn as he ought. Okay. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, so, there's lots to be done. Red Edison is in the basement, so I need to figure out a way to get into the basement. All done here. Bye now. But she keeps her stuff in the hall. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. So I think I need to leave and steal stuff in her cart. No way. I'd be. Bu no way. I. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. Oh ha! Get away from that! It's a good thing I finish in there quickly. Now scram! They just okay. don't make founding fathers like they used to. I need to steal that. I okay, guess so. This is. Oh. That's how you get to the basement because this is exactly like the. Oh, I get it. This is the same house that the um professor lives in. Because here's the grandfather clock. And there's a, there would be, open. What was that? It said open. Hang on, move out of the way. Open. What, what was going to be opened? Because, remember, this is the double doors that Lorraine went through, and then here's the grandfather clock that uh, Bernard went through. So if I go back in here, pull the cord. <laughs> And then go and steal. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Go back through here. Move out of the way. And take the soap. Oh ha! Get away from that. Okay, it's a good so thing it's not I a time thing. Quickly. So she's gonna catch now me every single scram. time. They just don't make founding fathers like they used to. Okay, there's got to be somewhere to do that. First, let's just go into the basement. Ta-da, Red Edison, bulletin board. It's covered with plans and junk. Talk to Red Edison. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. 
He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. Uh, okay. Well, see you later. Let's you give might him the if you cut that hair a bit shorter. So now I've got the uh, patent application. Super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Oil, vinegar, and gold. I have oil. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. So I got the oil, so I just need vinegar and gold, I think. I think it was gold. Wine bottle, red paint. Would this work? I don't wanna. Left-handed hammer. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. So I got that. Let's try giving the left-handed uh, hammer to the left-handed kid and see if that works. Yeah, well, let's see if it does anything. So they were in the first room here. They were in, no, they were not in this room. Oh yeah, they were upstairs. They were upstairs. Oh, the way, no, they were in that room. Never mind. It's because up here has the cat. All right. So that's a right-handed hammer. So a left-handed hammer. I don't wanna. <laughs> oh no! I've lost it! <laughs> you just can't do oh, it anymore. Where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? Ah, oh, I broke it. I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. Have a cappuccino. <laughs> I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. So I changed time. I cha I think I changed what the uh the statue looked like. These dudes might get mad. It's Ned or Jed's head. I wonder if I can give him a right hand hammer and screw with him. I can't crush two egos in one day. Yes, you can. You can easily crush two egos in one day. Okay. Open Ned Edison. I don't think I want to do that. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Anyways... I'm going to leave this episode here, it's been 24 minutes, and yeah, so we're just looking for some vinegar and some gold, 
And then we're gonna be on our way to the future, or at least getting out of the past. I will see all of you dudes in the next video. Goodbye.